Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a bit of a different video, a bit of a different topic to talk about. Um, it's about birth control and my experience using birth control pills and anything and everything that I can think of in regards to it. Now, full disclaimer, I'm not a healthcare professional. I would not be able to give you proper medic medical practitioner advice. So please obviously go check with your medical health practitioner. Um, they are prescription only in Australia. I would assume that most birth control pills are prescription only in Australia, um, around the world, sorry. Um, so yeah, let's just get into it. So first off, I want to make sure that we're distinguishing what we're talking about here. So there are sort of like birth control pills that you can get over the counter at a pharmacy um, that are like a one dose type of pill um, in the case of an emergency um, you know if unprotected sex has been had type of thing um, try not to buy them as much as you can because I'm telling you now I can get six months of birth control pills for the same price as one dose of um, the morning after pill which is pretty crazy, huh? So my advice is if you are going to go on birth control, make sure you take it every single day religiously and then just avoid that situation altogether because it's not a nice situation to be in. And you don't really want to go into a pharmacy when you're feeling like crap and, um, you know, in that sort of situation. It's, it's not a nice uh, feeling. So I'm going to tell you, basically everything from the beginning so I was 12 years old I had begun my period I think like a month or so before I was getting excruciating pain um cramping excessive blood loss um like really bad cramping should I say like debilitating cramping to the point where you can't even walk um and I was in year seven so I actually no I was ending year six at the time I was yeah, I was ending primary school at the time. I actually got it on my school camp. Great. Um, and yeah, I was just experiencing this every single time. And I was like, Jesus Christ, if this is what periods are like, then I don't want any part of it. Um, so it was quite overwhelming for me because, yeah, it was just too much. And my mother suggested that because she went on some of these uh, birth control pills herself when she was younger. Um, they didn't have everything available back when she was young, obviously. Um, but she was like, maybe it's time to go get you some. Um, so we did that. We went to the doctor. They asked some pretty basic questions. They do ask if you're sexually active, which is pretty awkward for a child to answer. But you have to answer it all, you know, all of that sort of thing. Then they just sort of discuss um, options, treatment, things like that. So I started on Monofem. Now, this is not Monofem. This is Evelyn, but it's the same thing. Um, I've cut off the sugar tablets from the bottom because I just, I find it confusing if they're sugar tablets as well. So the tablets themselves are pretty small. Here is my other pack. This is the Estelle or Diane. I'll tell you about that one later on, but I find the sugar packets confusing with the days so I always um, get rid of them so um, I went on it and pretty much within the first the next period I had the first period I had after that um, reduced blood loss reduced cramping and I could actually walk um, and my mood was better as well like they help with mood now the side effect of these can be they actually mess up your mood. I actually find that I'm less um, irritable when I'm on these tablets. Um, they can also stuff with your weight. Now, because I've been taking them for so long, even when I was a child, I was never a thin, thin child. I was quite healthy until about puberty and then all the weight just stacked on. Um, once I hit puberty, all of a sudden I had boobs, hips, the lot, which was around 10, 11. Um, so I can't really speak on that experience. I know for me, um, when I was thinner, I have lost weight before, but unfortunately um, I've gained it back, which is a bit of a pain in the butt. Um, 
bit of a yo-yo dieter here, unfortunately. Um, when I was trying to lose weight, it was easy at first and then it got quite difficult even though I wasn't super thin I was still having a lot of difficulties losing weight so I don't know if it was the pills or if it's just your body gets to that point where your um you know your metabolic uh, rate or whatever you want to call it. I, I don't know the word I can't think of the word right now you know where you have like a a flat line like a plateau of this is your healthy weight and your body just like predetermines it. I can't think of the word. So I do apologize, but someone out there will know what I'm talking about and they'll comment it down below. So yeah. Um, anyway, back to the whole thing. Um, yeah, I can't comment on weight gain. I can't, I can only comment on the mood thing. Um, there has been studies that have come out in recent years regarding deep vein thrombosis I do not have anything like that either. Um, they are regulating birth control tablets really hard now in the last few years. Um, I used to be able to get a yearly prescription without a problem. Um, so I recommend having a good relationship with your GP um, or gynecologist or whoever is able to prescribe you these tablets um, and keep that relationship established because... Um, yeah, that I've gone to different doctors and they've all um, said no, basically, or here's a month of tablets. And I'm like, that's more expensive. No, thank you. Um, so just be really, really careful um, and speak to a health professional that you actually trust um, in regards to this type of thing. Um that's about it really um i mean like i said i was taking the monofem um which is also called estelle and they are levongstriol and ethanoestriol tablets and they're both that's the that's what it is so monofem used to be cheaper and now evelyn's cheaper it changes every year on the pbs so Every financial year, I believe, the PBS scheme changes, which is obviously what uh, medications are funded under Medicare. So it may be good just to check prices um, with your local pharmacy, um, depending, because they're, they're exactly the same tablet. I will say that Monofem tablets taste like a sugar tablet, whereas the Evelyn tablets taste kind of bitter. So... If, if that's a problem for you, I have to chew tablets. I can't swallow tablets. So if that's an issue for you, then that's that. Um, yeah, I haven't had an issue in terms of any sort of mistakes with a birth control pill. Um, I just, if I forget to take it, I just don't have sex that day. Um, but because I've been taking this for over half my life now, like it's been 13 years. It's been a long, long time, almost, almost 13 years. It's around there. Um, so it's just like habit for me. It's just like waking up in the morning, you know, like how people brush their teeth or go to the toilet. It's the same thing for me. It's just a habit and you just take it. And that's what you got to do. Like just if you take it within a 12 hour time frame of when you're meant to take it, it's also meant to protect you as well. So that's something to keep in mind. And I know for a fact that when I stop taking the tablets and I go onto the sugar tablets, it takes about three to four days for my period to come through, sometimes two if I'm lucky. So statistically, it would probably be that I'm sort of safe, but I would never risk it. I would never risk it. But if you, yeah, if you, if you wanted to know that information, that's that. So the Estelle ones, um... They're also called Diane, but Diane's more expensive. So they've got three ingredients in these ones. Oh, no, actually, no, they don't. Lactose is the sugar one. They've got two. So they've got cyproterone acetate and the ethanestriol. So it's the same. It's got a little bit more ethanestriol than the Monofem um, Evelyn. So it's got five micrograms, I believe that is, micrograms. So... Yeah, it's a it's meant to lower your testosterone. So I changed to these. Oh, well, how how long have I been taking this one? 
a week and a bit. So I've just changed over to these tablets and it's in an attempt to help with my acne. So these ones, as well as giving you, there are two in one, as well as um, the birth control, they also give you um, a lowering in testosterone, which can actually help with pimples and mood and regulation of mood, um, things of that nature. So I'm trying those out. They did say it can take up to a month or more to see results. Um, they did say uh, my acne may worsen in the meantime. I haven't noticed any difference. Um, to be honest with you, I haven't noticed a difference in my acne whatsoever. Um, if anything, I feel like it's gone down a bit, but it could just be the hormonal um, swing of things. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. This video is a bit all over the place. I do apologize. I'm just, as things come to my brain, they come to my brain. Um, another thing, I think the best thing you can do, even if you're on birth control, is if you are having sex with someone, use a condom or something as well. Um, it just gives you that extra protection. Um, obviously, a birth control pill does not protect against STIs, STDs, things like that. So um, it's probably in your best interest to use a condom, especially with um, partners that you don't know, if that makes sense. Um, if you've got a regular partner like me, um, obviously get yourselves tested um, for STDs, STIs before entering into a sexual relationship and yeah if you're all clear and everything then just use your birth control but it's preferable to use condoms as well but like I said I've never had any um, sort of issues with um, you know getting pregnant or having to um, deal with that sort of thing so I've, I've been very very lucky and I think the pills are very very safe so yeah that's that i hope that was helpful i know it can be really hard especially if you're young um to talk to a doctor or to talk to a health professional about things like this or even your parents um i know a lot of you probably um are at that age where you don't want to talk to your parents about this type of stuff which is totally cool um you know that's why we have places like youtube and things like this um to discuss things so yeah i hope that gives you some information and you can sort of um, think about what you want to do. If you did enjoy this video and you like the content, please let me know down in the comments. Leave any questions, comments, um, anything else that you want to say down below. Um, I respond to everyone and I, sp I respond as quick as I can. Um, and if you would like to support me, press that thumbs up button and subscribe. I'd love to um, see you around enjoying my content. Um, yeah, and until next time, enjoy your day. Bye for now.